Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Epcot. It is almost the end of 2019, only two more days to go, but this will be my last vlog for 2019. I have to work on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so I won't be able to come out to the parks, but I decided I wanted to come here to Epcot and I wanted to do something that has to do with my New Year's resolution, which is be happier. So. One thing I never really do is buy myself clothing. As you can tell, I wear the same shirts over and over again in almost all the vlogs, but one really caught my eye, and that is the Epcot Spirit jersey. Let's go do this. And honestly, for it being December 29th, it seems so empty in this park, which is actually a godsend. And I love that Epcot is still in the festival of holidays. I can hear the Christmas music playing and it seems so nice. I, I, I love the holidays. I love the holidays in Disney. It's actually the first time I've seen the Starbucks temporary location here in Epcot. And that's really good. And also the restrooms they just added right over here. These restrooms were needed so bad because the old restrooms that were in the front of World Showcase, they literally always had a line. The men's room had one stall and one urinal and it was almost impossible. I don't know what the ladies room was like, but they needed them. Thank you. Sources tell me that the Epcot Spirit jersey is either at the Epcot Experience or Pin Traders behind Spaceship Earth. So I'm going to hit up uh, the Epcot Experience first because sometimes that closes early. So if they close early, that means I only got one location and that doesn't look very good for me. There it is, the Epcot Experience. It looks like it's not open, but I do see people walking around in there. Thumbs crossed here, people. Thumbs crossed. I love it when I make up my own sayings that don't make any sense. Oh, and it's here. Look at this beauty right here. Wow. I don't think I've ever been excited for a single piece of clothing than this right here. How much does it cost? $69.99. Ah, oh, totally worth it. I said I'm gonna buy things and make myself happy and that's what I'm doing. And I'll take it. I'll buy it at a high price. Well, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it. It came to $60 with my annual pass discount. And I think I'm going to put it on like right now. I think I'm going to go to the restroom and I'm going to put it on and enjoy. Even though it's a little hot. That's why I always shied away from spirit jerseys. But I really, really wanted one. And this is the perfect one. I like the way it fits. Oh boy. Hold on. I got to model it off here. Now that I have successfully been able to get my Epcot Spirit jersey, there's something else that's new at Epcot that I want to experience, and that's the Neil Patrick Harris Margarita here in the Mexico Pavilion at the Tequila Cave. I've read about it and I've been excited to try it, only because it's a margarita made by Neil Patrick Harris. Remember me. Oh boy, I wasn't anticipating a line out the door. Well, I might as well hop in line and wait. I'm here for that margarita. So, very cool fact, but actually Neil Patrick Harris came here just a couple days ago and actually made this himself. And the drink that I'm drinking today that he made is called Black Magic. And I talked to a couple of the cast members and they even told me that the drink and the mixture that I'm gonna get today is the one that he actually made. So it's like Neil Patrick Harris is making me a drink. How awesome is that? And there it is, right in the menu. I'm still waiting to actually be able to order it, but look at that. Created by Neil Patrick Harris himself, $21. That is a steep margarita. And it's frozen. And there it is. The Black Magic made by Neil Patrick Harris. It has mezcal, blackberry puree, Casas liquor, lime, and mint served frozen. Very, very pretty. I'm excited to try it. First sip, oh boy. Wow, it's really delicious and a little strong. It's got a little kick to it. Wow. Yeah, wow. I think I'm going to push this mint down in there. Where'd it go? <laughs> Mix it around, give it a little bit more minty flavor. Mm-hmm. 
one thing I did learn about tequila and especially mezcal is that it has a very smoky flavor to it. So this is actually a very smoky margarita. You'll get a little smoky aftertaste. So now I got my Black Magic and my Epcot Spirit jersey. I think I'm gonna just walk around World Showcase and just explore it and enjoy. And since I'm heading in the direction towards Norway, I'm gonna go in the Gods of the Vikings exhibit. I haven't been in here for a while and it's something I really like. I also like sneaking through this side a little bit. It's a little narrow passageway, but look at this. You can actually walk right through here. This is one of the most secluded spots in Epcot. You can come hang out here and just watch people from right here. Look at this. <laughs> There's like nobody here. Well, because nobody can fit in here, really. But it's a good people watching spot. Also, it's a very good place to get out of the heat. Today, it's not really hot out, but during the summertime, you creep in here, you get some good AC. Look at that man, he'll tell you. That Thor definitely looks a lot different than the Thor we're used to seeing on the big screen. Look at little Minior. Minior. I can't say it right. <laughs> and there is Odin himself. Odin's son. Well, that kind of looks like Odin from the big screen. Thor, I don't know, but that one? Oh, yeah. For it only being two days away and New Year's Eve happening, this is so quiet here at Epcot. Usually it is jam-packed over in this section, but not tonight. Don't believe me? Look at the lines for the Festival of the Holiday Boots. There is nobody in line. I've never been able to walk up to a booth without having to wait. And you can see here, they're actually starting to set up for New Year's Eve. They usually have a very big dance party happening over here near Italy. And it's very, very bopping. Like it is a bopping time over here during New Year's Eve. One thing I realized about World Showcase and the Festival of the Holidays is I have not eaten any of the food. And actually, the only time I've eaten any of the food was during the media event. So I decided to come over to the American Holiday Table and try the slow roasted turkey. And look at that. I got mine without cranberry sauce. But wow, that looks delicious. What about you guys? Do you like cranberry sauce? I'm not a fan. Usually during the festivals, the food offerings aren't that big, but I feel like that is pretty big. You get all of that green beans, stuffing, gravy, turkey, and cranberry sauce, unless you don't like the cranberry sauce, for only six bucks. That's not bad. Ooh, green beans. I didn't even notice they had mashed potatoes underneath the turkey in between the stuffing. <laughs> wow. Look at those potatoes just hiding under there. No idea. I am just stuffing my face with turkey and the candlelight processional choir is just walking behind me. <laughs> Good job. Good job guys. Good job. Happy holidays. I know it's a little bit late and the festival of the holidays is ending soon, but that turkey was probably one of the best festival foods I've ever had. <laughs> wow, why did I wait so long? Epcot Forever starts in about 13 minutes, so I think I'm gonna go get some dessert since I had a good turkey dinner and watch the fireworks, but I don't know where I'm gonna get dessert from. I have an idea. Hopefully they're still open though. I'm thinking something bakery-ish so. from the bakery in France. Bakery-ish, I like that. They always have very delicious treats back here. So let's see what they got going on in these cases up here. Oh wow, so many things to choose from. The cream brulee looks pretty good, but I think I want the Napoleon right over here. I'll have to wait my time though. Ah, yes, that's the thing right there. That's what I want, the Napoleon. Even though the eclairs look pretty good, or the macaroons, or these biscuit chocolate, but we're going with the Napoleon. And here is my Napoleon. And I actually decided to sit right here and eat it because I'm next to the Napoleon picture. Huh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
No, no, no. Wait, that's not gonna work. What did I do? I ruined it. Oh no. Map, map, map. Normally, I'm not one to take my dessert with me somewhere. Usually, I just eat it right there and then, but I feel like uh, dessert and fireworks sounds pretty good. Oh, we got 20 seconds. What a great way to end the night. Epcot forever, a Napoleon dessert. Oh, I'm feeling a little, little full. I feel good, I feel very good. I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I am done with Epcot, I'm going back out to the car, and I'm done with 2019. This is the last vlog. Uh, like I said, I have to work New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, but I do wanna say thank you to you guys because even though 2019 was such a horrible year for me, it really was, I can't even begin to tell you how bad 2019 was for me. You guys and this channel was the best thing that came out of it, honestly. I don't think I would've made it through 2019 if it wasn't for this channel and all the comments and everything seriously i love every single one of you i love every single comment except for the bad comments i don't like those ones but thank you thank you so much and uh 2020 is just a couple days away so love the life you live we'll see you next time bye